To study the pricing and valuation of futures, we shall reference the pricing and valuation of forwards which we learned in the last lesson. The concepts are largely the same, but with a few key differences. Firstly, be very clear that the price of a forward contract is fixed at the initiation of the contract and is constant throughout the life of the contract. We've learned that this price is the future value of the spot price at initiation and that we can plot a line known as the present value of the forward price. As the spot price fluctuates, the value of the contract to the long and short will fluctuate accordingly, as we've learned in the last lesson. This value is realised at the expiration of the forward. In contrast, we know that futures are standardised, exchange-traded contracts, where traders can long or short the contract at any time over the life of the contract. Although the price of futures should be the same as that of the equivalent forward at initiation, the price of the futures contract will change according to the spot price. That is, two parties that take a position at a later date will agree on a price that corresponds with the changes in the spot rates. Since this price is the no arbitrage price, the value of the contract is always zero at the end of the day. For traders that have entered earlier, the daily gain or loss due to change in futures price is added or subtracted from the trader's margin account. This is known as the mark-to-market process. You can see it as the value of the contract is realised daily into every trader's account. In essence, remember these two key differences. The forward price is constant, while futures price fluctuates. Value for forward contracts will fluctuate according to the spot price, but the value of futures are reset to zero daily after the mark-to-market process. To illustrate, let's say the spot price of gold is $1,800 at the initiation of a 60-day forward contract and the risk-free rate is 5%. We've learned how to calculate the price of a forward at initiation, so why don't you try calculating it, assuming there is no cost or benefit in holding the underlying? You should get this amount. This is the price of the forward, and it remains constant once the contract has initiated. For an equivalent 60-day futures contract, the initial price should be the same. A trader decides to long 100 of this futures contract at initiation, so his long position is $181,450. And let's say the initial margin requirement is 10%, the trader must deposit $18,145 into his margin account. Let's say at the end of the trading day the spot price of gold increases to $1,820. What do you think is the no arbitrage futures price of this contract? Well, you just have to think of two new parties coming together to agree on a new contract with the knowledge that the spot price is now $1,820 and the contract has 59 days to maturity. The no arbitrage price of the futures contract should be this amount. Assuming that this is the settlement price at the end of the day, this is an increase of $19.91. As the trader has a long position in 100 contracts, the mark-to-market process will add $1,991 to the trader's margin account. At this price, the value of the contract is zero to all traders of the contract. You may see the mark-to-market process as the daily realisation of the contract value, which is reflected in each trader's margin account. Now's your turn to practice. Let's say the spot price of gold falls to $1,805 at the end of the next trading day. What is the no arbitrage price of the contract based on the spot price and 5% risk-free rate? And if that is the settlement price, what is the mark-to-market amount on the trader's account? You should not have much problem with this. The no arbitrage futures price should be this, bearing in mind there are 58 days to expiry. If this is the settlement price, the daily loss is $15.36. The trader should have $1,536 deducted from the margin account. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.